Hi, and welcome to this demo of the very first version of Tiddly Desktop, a way of running TiddlyWiki applications directly on your desktop without using a conventional browser. To get started, we go to GitHub to get the latest release. Here we'll work with the Mac version in a minute. I'll show you the Windows version running as well. And it takes a few seconds to download because it's about 30 megabytes, the zip file. Then when it has downloaded, it's automatically unpacked by the Mac into the Downloads folder. So I'm now just going to move it from the Downloads folder onto the desktop so that it's slightly easier to get at. And now I double-click the icon to run the app. But in fact, what happens is I get this warning from the Mac that the application can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. So now I press OK to dismiss that dialog. And then I have to go into System Preferences and into the Security and Privacy tab where I can tell the Mac to open the application anyway by pressing the button there. And now this time the application starts to run and we get a new dialog that tells us that the application has just been downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open it? And now finally we get into the application itself. And here's the Tiddly Desktop main window. It consists at the moment just of a browse button that lets us choose a Tiddly Wiki file to open. So let's go ahead and open one. And it opens immediately into its own window. And so now let's go back to the main window and open another file showing how we can have multiple Tiddly Wikis open at once. And now with the second file, let's uh, edit the Getting Started Tiddler, change the text of it so that we can see that the Save Changes facility is working OK. So we'll click OK and then click Save Changes and you see the Saved Wiki notification at the top right. Now we'll quit the whole application and note that if immediately we restart it, it reopens the same windows as were open before. At the moment the position of the windows isn't correct, so that's something to add, but um, you can see that the Getting Started Tiddler carries the text that we saved a few moments ago. And uh, now if we go back to the main window, you can see that there's a Remove button so that we can remove TiddlyWikis from the list. There's also a Clone button. The intention is to add that in a later release and it'll enable you to create a copy of a TiddlyWiki document and open that. And now let's quickly run through doing the same things under Windows. So again, we go to the GitHub site to download the latest release. This time we'll get a zip file that in classic Windows style, when, we, uh, when it's downloaded and we open it, um, it shows us the files inside the zip file. And then we have to actually go back and explicitly extract the files from the zip file and then open the folder. And now we can run the nw.exe executable and close these other windows and you can see there's Tiddly Desktop in this case with a previously opened window and just like the Mac version I can browse for new files, open the file, we can have a look at that and then go and open another file and this time let's try modifying it We'll create a new Tiddler, give it a title, and then when we click Done, we see the Saved Wiki notification when we press Save. Close the window, and now if we reopen it and go to the Recent tab, we can see the modified Tiddler that we just saved. So there you go. In a nutshell, that's the current state of Tiddly Desktop on both Mac and on Windows.